Hi there. So today I'm going to show you how to use timber in a blog you already have or you might already be working on. Um, so I think what you'll find is there are little pieces of timber you can use throughout your WordPress theme. Um, what I'm going to do is download a theme from WordPress.org that we can use this in. So um, I am a fan of the stitch theme here. Really, really simple. Um, it's going to give us a great foundation to add some timber features. So I'm going to spare you the download and install process and switch over to my local host where I'm running this right now. So I've got Stitch installed. Thus far, I haven't made any modifications except inside of the admin interface and plugins. Um, I've downloaded a couple plugins. The most important one is Timber right here. Uh, if you haven't already downloaded Timber, you can do so in a previous tutorial to this. Um, two other plugins I'll be using during this demo are Advanced Custom Fields and Custom Post Types UI. Um, nothing you'll need right now, but later in a, a future video, those will come into play. So right now, again, it's just Stitch as it came in. Really simple uh, theme. I've got some test posts in here to have something to work with. So if I go over into my index.php file, again, this is exactly as Stitch came in. Um, what I want to do on my blog is maybe just add a welcome message um, on top of the posts. So to do that, I'm inside of index.php, which right now is powering my home. And I can test that by opening up a PHP tag here. So I am homepage if I refresh. Okay, so I am homepage right up there. So I know it's working, but what I want to do is use some HTML here to, to give people a nice welcome message for this blog. So what I'm going to do is create a spot right here where I am going to call timber. So timber can be called like so. And then to access any of its methods, anything that it does, you use double colon and then what you want to do, which in this case, we want it to render a small file that we'll be writing. So before this is going to work, obviously we need to actually create that file that we want to include. So in my second Sublime window, I'm gonna create a new file and I'm going to add some HTML. So when I save it, it's really important where I put it. So right now I am in the Stitch directory, my theme directory. Inside of here, um, what we're seeing right now is just all the stuff that Stitch came with. I'm gonna create a new folder and I am going to call it Views. So inside of Views, I'm gonna give this a name of welcome.twig. Of course, the actual name is not very important. It's just however we're going to reference it. So welcome.twig. And inside of my index.php file, that file name is what I'm going to send to the timber, re timber render function. So timber render welcome .twig. So what it should do is pluck any HTML or really any content I have inside of here um, and insert it into my index.php file right above my first post. So if I refresh, awesome. I know it's working. And of course, um, I also have added some CSS um, to give this a little bit of style so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So, you know, right now it's really just a simple class that's applying some style to the H3 and the P tags here. So this is great, but right now we haven't really gone above anything a normal include file could have done. What's really powerful about Twig and Timber is being able to send data from the PHP file into this um, twig file. So to do that, what we need to do is prepare ourselves with a context package. So context is the idea that you're supplying context 
preferred template. You're supplying the data that it needs to do its job. So context right now is going to be totally blank. Um, but what we'll want to do is add some keys that we can populate with values. So for example, I want to add a headline here. So my headline is going to be welcome to my timber blog. Very similar, but this way we'll be able to see the difference. So welcome to my blog, welcome to my timber blog over here in the left window. So the second argument that we use is that data package. It's that context that's going to be sent through the PHP file into my twig file. Um, so right now, if I were to refresh, nothing has changed. So even though we've created a variable here, we have to create a destination on where we want that variable to appear. I think it's pretty obvious that instead of welcome to my blog here, we want headline. Of course, we have to give t Twig some way of knowing that we don't want it to say the word headline, we want it to be the variable stored there. Because right now, okay, we've just got headline. So in Twig's syntax, if you surround something with double braces, Twig recognizes, oh, this is a twig variable to use. So I've got h3 double brace headline. Now when I refresh, welcome my timber blog. So that is a super, super simple example. And what we're going to do in the next video is actually show how we hook this up to um, the WordPress database and admin screen.